All right, hi, welcome. This video is going to walk you through using Kali and um, Hashcat and sort of just a walkthrough of what some what hashes mean and what it means when you're sort of cracking passwords or password hashes with Hashcat. So I'm at a login screen for Kali here. I'm going to log in with my password that um, it, this one is not the default Kali. If you were in a, just your own VM, it would usually say Kali here and the password would be Kali. If you're in an old Kali, it's username root password T-O-O-R. This has its own password though. So I'm logging in to my Kali. And then in my Kali, my first step here, since we're doing a password cracking exercise, I'm going to be using a, the RockU password list. These... Um, Password lists are located. I could show you, but I'm not going to show you. I don't need to go into that terminal. I could probably go into the file manager too. Let me just, I guess I can show you here. If I go into here, I actually want to be in um, slash, there's me. I want to be in slash USR slash share slash word lists. And in here, there's the Rocky password list. It's a gzip file. Um, I could unzip it there, but I'm just gonna do the type the command out because I'm awesome. So what I wanna do is unzip it. I need to do a super, super user, sudo. I'm gonna do a super user. I wanna do a g unzip. I need to unzip this file. And I'm gonna just type out that path command, user slash share slash word oops word lists if i can type with my password word lists slash and we can now see if i manage to spell this right dot txt dot gz this is this the standard rock you list hopefully it'll take just a minute to unpack here and now we should be very excitedly done actually if i check in here is it gonna yeah we'll just leave it We'll just assume it works. All right, we're gonna do pretty much everything here in the command line. And so I guess we can watch carefully and get it going. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I need to create a, a file that will hold my password hashes, okay? I'm creating a file here, it's gonna be called MD5 hashes because I'm gonna show you a few different kinds of hashes. This one, these, this set is going to be MD5 hashes. Okay, so I need to nano into that. And I'm just going to leave, this is the nano screen. I'm just going to leave that open. I am going to go into here, into the web. And somehow this takes a long time, but this is fine. Come on, baby. My goodness, that takes forever. I'm gonna go ahead and do a web search here. And what I want here is an MD5 hash generator. ATL, oh, this is so slow. Okay, okay, MD5 hash generator. All right, this one looks as good as any. I can close that. I can do an MD5 hash generator. And what I need to do is I need to hash. I'm gonna hash some passwords, okay? First password I'm gonna hash is going to be a nice simple password that I know is on the Rocky list. This is called forgot password, okay? This is a pretty lame password. So I'll hit generate there. And then my string is forgot password and there's my MD5 hash. I can hit copy here, by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. Then I'm gonna go back to nano and on nano, it's not really, you see how it says paste there? It's actually, I need to hold down control. And I can't go control V, I have to go control shift V. Oh, I guess it is V, haha, uh -huh. capital V. All right, I paste in, that's the hash of forgot password. Better be, we'll check it really quick. 600E, yep, we're awesome. All right, next up, I'm gonna create this password is gonna be a nice complicated one. 
This one is gonna be super crazy. So I'm gonna do, this is like some crazy random one that I got off of a NI50, oops, that's a lowercase o, then a zero, and then a b, and a two. For some reason I need a brace in there because it's gonna be super complicated. So there's a nice complicated password. This one, by the way, is not going to be on the list and somehow it's not doing any parentheses. I need to fix that. Let's just put it in here. It doesn't like the parentheses. So far the cookies go over so easy. Come on, baby. That's funny. Oh, all right, we'll just copy that anyway. It's a big mess. Okay, this is a password hash that is not on the Rocky list. I'm gonna do control shift B and there's my other MD5 hash, okay? I uh, notice here, there's my write out, control shift O and I'm gonna overwrite this file. So I just hit enter and then I'm going to exit. That is my control X and now I'm exited out, okay? So MD5 hashes are done. All right, now we're gonna hash cat it. Hashcat is just hashcat. That's, a, that's the command for hashcat. There are two commands here. The first one is an A, a dash A, and what we want here is a zero. Zero is an A and the attack type. The attack type zero is gonna be a word list because we're using that Rocky list. I'm gonna put a dash M command and this is the type of hash it is. M zero is the md5 hash format then i type the file name i'm in md5 hashes and since i'm in this directory i don't have to put the full path to that one but i do need to put the one to the rock u password list usr slash share slash word list slash rock u dot txt Oops, and I missed a slash there and put a period. And I can just look this over and hopefully it works. I'm gonna hit enter though, and maybe we'll have to tweak it and hopefully it goes. There's hashcat starting and we're done. Oh, no, it's not done. Give it a second. I'm running a super slow VM here, which is just fine. So those of you that are on your own computer, you would have probably already be done. You're on a decent, even a decent VM like that's running on your own computer with a, yeah, it would already be in two. And here we are initializing the backend runtime. Give us a minute. All right, self testing it and running through the list. It already cracked. You can see this hash. I'm just, I'm going to make this window a little bigger. This hash was found. So it basically did a brute force crack and it found that forgot password was cracked. You also notice hopefully the other password. So that impossible password is uh, not found in there. Okay. So that was exciting. What I want you to note here is where it says here, we took, um, how long did it take? It started at 2648 and it ended at 2733. And now we're gonna do a different type of hash. I'm actually gonna leave that open because I wanna remember, I'm just gonna copy that. We're gonna do a different hash. This time we're gonna do an SHA256 hash generator. Once you get this started, it does it pretty quickly, which is actually kind of nice. All right, so there's an SHA. Out. I put my input value in. Again, I go with forgot password. I'm going to generate my hash. And there is, oops, this is going to be sad because I will have deleted that. Let me do this first. I want to make sure I use the same password. I'm going to do this one first. Sorry, we're going to generate that one first. And then I'm going to copy this one. I'll just select that first. And copy this one. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do another nano. This time we're going to go SHA256 hashes. 
dot txt and I just paste that in there too. Control shift V there. Notice the two, SHA-256 is a longer hash. It's just a little different. I'm not gonna really get into this one too much. What's going on? Let me just do this in a new window. So now I'm gonna do one for forgot password. I will generate that one. And then we have this hash. I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna paste it into here with my control shift V. That's my new password. Okay, the same deal. I do control shift right out, right over the file, control shift X to exit. And now I'm gonna use uh, hashcat to crack those passwords. The command's basically the same. So I'm gonna do up arrow here. I'm up arrowing. And then I'm gonna change, since I'm using a different hash format, I need to use the M command for that. And it's an M1400. It's not called MD5 hashes, it's called SHA256 hashes, but everything is the same otherwise. I'm still gonna hit enter. And it's gonna do its initializing. I'm very sad at how long this takes. La 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 la. All right, notice again, it totally did forgot password, nice and quick. And then we run through the entire list, and again, it didn't crack that really hard to, to crack one. Now, these don't directly correlate anymore, these the stopped and started, because you'll notice once I've already run it, it sort of has the memory in it. But notice here where it says like time, it estimates that it's gonna take eight seconds. I'm gonna scroll up here. And MD5 hashes are super, super fast to calculate. In fact, MD5 hashes are so fast to calculate, you shouldn't even use them. SHA-256 hashes are longer to calculate, but really not that long. I mean, you saw here, I can calculate this forgot password one pretty quick. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you a really like hardcore one. So what we're gonna do here Remember, I'm actually leaving this one up just so I have the password there, so I'm just gonna leave it there. And here, I'm going to do a proper, this is the kind of password that you, sh or the kind of hashes that um, everyone should use. In fact, I would argue here that if you aren't using a bcrypt hash, or there's a couple, there's another one or two that are this slow hashes, that you are basically liable here. Now, this cost factor is actually an issue and I am i don't really care. By the way, I use my own website and I use a 12 cost factor. What happens here is every time you increase the number, it doubles the size, okay? So if I went from 12, and then I went to 13, or sorry, it doesn't double the size, it doubles how long it takes. So if I put in here forgot password and I put in, I'm just gonna show you really quickly. If I put in a, like a four and then I generate the hash, boom. If I do this in a longer one, I'm gonna hit 12 and then I hit generate hash. It takes a little bit longer. Notice it didn't take that long, but it took a little while. Okay, that was forgot password. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go back in here, I'm gonna nano again. This time we're gonna do B C R Y P T H A S H E S S dot T X T decrypt hashes. I'm gonna go into my nano again, paste in, there's a good hash for forgot password. And I'm doing this one because I just want to copy it here. Oops, I keep pushing the Mac shortcut, control C, and I'm gonna paste that into here, hit a control V. And then I hit generate that hash. Um, again, you can sort of see it blink in, but it's totally working. I'm gonna copy that. Should I do this this way? Hit copy. And then you can see it. Here though, I have to hit enter, and then I have to hit shift, control, B, and it pasted in, okay? 
All right, so notice the hashes, the length is not much different than an SHA-256 hash. Up here though, it's kind of interesting, the 2Y, this dollar sign 2Y is that basically you're doing a bcrypt hash. And then the number 12 right there actually tells um, the, like in the hash, it stores what your cost factor was. I feel like doing this. I wonder if we do a forgot, no, we're not gonna do it. All right, now I'm gonna write it out. So here's control O. Decrypt hashes, very exciting. And now I'm gonna control shift X to exit out. And now we're gonna do the bcrypt hashes. Now, oops, not nano, I'm A0, I'm still doing a normal attack. I change the M, which is my hash format. This is 3200, and here it's no longer SHA256 hashes, it's BCRYPT hashes, and then I hit enter. same initialization. Man, this game is slow, but okay. It's only like 20 seconds is a long time for some of this stuff. Okay, we got our self-test going. Now notice here, when we did it that last time, it found forgot password right away, right? What's happening here is it's going through the Rocky list and it has to hash and compute that bcrypt hash every time. So let me just zip up here. I'm going up into the SHA-256 and notice it does things like candidate number one and this is showing you that it's going through the list, okay? Uh, it says the progress here, we did 14,344,385 passwords and we went through 100%. So this is the one we're gonna be excited about. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna hit status. I'm pushing S and S is telling me like what it's done. Now notice here, right? Hash mode, bcrypt, very excited here. We've already gone 45 seconds. It estimates what? 42 days, 21 hours. So when we went back here, it was estimating its instant for SHA-256. And for bcrypt, since it's a slower hash, and even though you watched it, it only takes you know maybe a tenth of a second, that it's taking forever. At this point, it's only done 344 hashes. It's not even, does that have enough on there? Oh, that's a bunch, okay. Uh, we'll worry about salt later, but this is a long time. And notice here we've gone through the Pokemon to chicken, and let me hit status one more time. We hit status again, and now we've done 768, and it's still going to take forever. So this hash is so slow that someone doing just this Rocky list has to take days to do it. Now, if I was on a faster computer, I might be able to go through the Rocky list a lot quicker. And this also tells you if you have a password that is on one of these lists, it can be computed pretty quickly. If we were doing a brute force, and I'm not going to do that now, it would show you, like even for SHA-256, for that hard hash, it would take forever. So actually, I'm going to quit right now because I think you get the point. I'll hit one more status, and we can see here we've done a thousand of them now. It's taken a couple of minutes, but we're nowhere near finding even that forgot password. So I'm going to quit this, and hopefully you have the basic idea of a lesson here of that there's different passwords, or not different passwords. There's not only does it different passwords, having a random password is a good idea, but if you're the person that's actually storing the password, you need to use one of these slower hashes to, I don't know, protect people's passwords later. So that's it for this video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.